live in that area. Well, welcome to the future of learning. Technology giving kids the ability to hold a human heart in their hands. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane taking us inside the new mobile school and classroom that could soon change everything. Many of us may remember going to school in a classroom that had only one computer and the only interactive game was Oregon Trail. Now, technology is taking learning to a whole new level. Kids today might not know the tragedy of losing an ox because the river was too deep to ford, as was the case in the PC game Oregon Trail. But technology of today is giving their education a more hands-on approach. Like you could dissect anything and see how it looks inside of it. Virtual reality provides Lacucci fifth graders like Hunter Brown a chance to see things in a whole new way. It's so big, the T-Rexes are so big. Hunter likes learning about dinosaurs. The ribs, just one of them looks bigger than my whole body. With special glasses and a pen, images come right off the screen and into the students' fingertips. I feel like it's a lot more engaging, a lot more fun for them than traditional teaching because it's on a computer, it's 3D, it's virtual reality. The company ZSpace has virtual teaching for elementary level Levels all the way up to med students. We definitely do have to figure out new and innovative ways to engage our kids, and a lot of times it does involve technology, so something like this is right up their alley. The Z Space bus may be back visiting schools in the Bay Area next spring. It's a really cool experience. In Pasco County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.